Our case is going to get backlogged now that USCIS is going to be furloughing a lot of its employees. Stay tuned to find out more. USCIS has already sent out notices to employees that furloughs are going to happen next month in August. Approximately more than half of USCIS's workforce is going to be furloughed. What this means is they're not going to be working. There's not enough funds to pay them and in order to keep them on staff and in order to continue to limit their expenses, they are reducing their workforce. They are sending out furlough notices to about 13,000 employees, which works out to more than half of its current staff. It's projected that these furloughs will last over a month. It could be more, you know, with the coronavirus situation, Congress prioritizing other things. It could be that it lasts longer, but it's expected that it'll be at least a month. USCIS has asked Congress for $1.2 billion. As of right now, Congress hasn't mentioned whether they would approve this. You know, Trump hasn't mentioned whether he would approve this or sign on as well. At the moment, it's just USCIS asking, but it hasn't gone forward with uh, Congress submitting this, with Trump supporting this. Right now, it's just being asked. What this will mean is for cases that are currently being processed and are not expected to finish anytime soon in this month, in the month of July, it's likely that it's going to get backlogged further. So you can imagine if whatever the USCIS case processing times looks like, because of these furloughs that are expected to happen next month, however long the furlough takes, you can expect to add that time on top of the time that it's already expected to take. If a case is expected to be processed this month, then hopefully, maybe you will get a response, you know, for cases that were filed months or years before. However, if you recently submitted or if you're going to submit a petition this month, I'd recommend to do it sooner rather than later. That said, it shouldn't make that much big of a difference. It's not going to be processed that much sooner because of these furloughs and because of the coronavirus situation. If you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know by liking this video. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe to get tips and legal information to assist you with your immigration journey. Thank you and God bless.